Hello, in this video I want to show you ShapeKey transfer add-on for Blender. It is basically allowing you to transfer shape keys from one object to another. In my case I transfer shape keys from body to clothes. It is useful for games if you want to have some customization system for the characters and instead of manually adjusting the shape keys for the clothes, you can just quickly transfer shape keys from body to to clothes with, uh, with this uh, add-on. So let's start from scratch. I will delete the shape keys on the clothes. So now when I deform the body, uh, the clothes are not uh, following uh, the shape keys. To transfer those shape keys, we select the source object and assign this in the fuse input. And for the target, we select the uh, shield so then just click shape transfer and you are done now the shape key will be transferred uh, the same for the pants we just select the pants as the target click shape transfer and we are done uh, we have the shape keys transferred and the optional buttons in here are useful for example the smoothness trend let's say if we have more dense geometry on the on the shield like that uh, i will apply this modifier uh, just before the delete the shape keys and i will apply the modifier on the target uh, just remember always to apply all the modifiers on the target uh, because otherwise it won't work it is not necessary to apply modifiers on the source though so now when I have this subdivided target, you will see that with low smoothing, we will have some ugly, uh, ugly deformations. Uh, my bad, I have to select target and source, shape key, transfer again. And now this is the result we get without smoothing. And it is happening because of how low poly the source geometry is. So to prevent this, one way is to increase the smoothness. Now we have some better result. Let's increase this even more. And we have something like this. Or alternatively, we can reduce the smoothing, but subdivide the source object. Let's say I subdivided this twice. Remember, you don't have to apply the source object. You don't have to apply modifiers on it. So now, when I transfer the shape key again, you see that even with low smoothing, we have a better result. Some sharp edges in here are just because of the auto smooth. But if I disable this, uh, the results are very good. Now there is small problem in this area. To compensate and reduce this uh, bad deformation, we can increase the smoothness and let's shape transfer again you see that we have uh, get rid mostly of this problem uh, like that so quite often it is good to use a combination of subdivision of the source object and maybe giving some smoothing uh, the Another buttons below are sometimes useful if you want to delete the drivers on the clothes. So by default, I cannot modify drivers, uh, sliders on the shape key because of the drivers. To get rid of them quickly, you just press this button, and now you can modify the cloth independently of the body. But if you want this drivers set back you just click the shape key driver set with proper source and target objects. So now when I deform the body shape key, the cloth will follow. And the last slider is in here. The last button is the lock button. So uh, I will assign new objects and let's say I have some smoothing and let's see what will happen if I set this morph to fat and with the lock button we have something like this and if uh, this button basically force the boundary loops on the target to be locked and not smoothed 
So if I want to smooth those boundary loops, then I just disable the pinning of the boundary loops. So this way I have a smoothed boundary loop. Sometimes it is useful uh, if you have like modular piece and uh, let's say the this loop on the neck must uh, meet exactly with another mesh that will be connecting to this loop from the top then you want sometimes to have uh, those boundary loops locked and not smoothed so that's why sometimes you might find this uh, useful to lock boundary loops okay so i think that's it and i hope you find this add-on useful uh, see ya